going in depth on weather tonight with Scott. Mm -hmm. Talking about the sun, how it heats the earth, correct? It does. It didn't do much it, of that today. No. It did not do much of that. Not here anyway. much, <laughs> much sun out there. It did, it did affect my computer, which just crashed. So I'm not going to talk, show anything, but I will tell you all about what's going to happen here. Got some great questions. Remember, if you recall from last week, we were talking about how the sun, the earth, and the moon kind of all work together to do different things. And so here's a few more questions as we talk about going through the seasons. Hi, my name is Kaylee, and I go to Peregrine. My question is, how does the sun and moon affect the temperature on Earth? Hi, my name is Chance, and my school is Peregrine, and I wanted to ask a question. And my question is, how can the Earth get hot? My name is Daniel, and, and I'm from Peregrine Elementary. My question is, how cold does it get on Earth? Great questions. And so we're talking about some extremes here. How does the Earth heat up and how does it cool down? Well, and we'll talk about the actual temperatures of what we had, the hottest and the coldest on the Earth. And here's uh, the high sun angle that heats the Earth. Well, this is the key of why some places are hotter than others. In the summertime, when the sun is overhead, all that energy is focused in one spot and it will warm that part. But because the Earth is round, you get different parts of the Earth getting angled sun like this. And so that energy spreads out and you get cooler areas and hotter areas and that cool air trying to balance out with the heat. And so generally what happens is the North and South Pole have the biggest extremes here. And what's going to happen is when we want to make the cold air and the, when you get the winter time in the Northern Hemisphere, you get that ineffective sunlight. So all that heat just continues to go up into the atmosphere and it gets colder and colder in the North Pole. When we're in the summertime, the South Pole is getting coldest. And I will tell you this, the coldest temperature on Earth, they've actually had satellites now track it down to 136 degrees below zero down there in Antarctica, just east of where they originally thought it was about 128 or so. And the warmest has been is about 150 degrees on the Earth. And so you really have some pretty big extremes. By the way, the moon really doesn't affect our temperature. It affects our tides, but it doesn't affect our temperature. I'm pretty sure Wisconsin got pretty close to that. So, well, <laughs> yes. I was there. Those were some cute kids, too. Yeah, they were. Yeah. Cute kids. All right. Okay. So the scene has